Hey everybody, Anna Kruger here, MAPS Coach with Keller Williams. And today we are gonna talk about what is one of the top things you should never do if you wanna keep a talented ISA on your team. Now I will say there's a list of five things you never wanna do. I'm gonna hit the other four on a webinar on June 23rd. It's gonna be on Tuesday. So join me on June 23rd. Below this, you can find out how to register for that free webinar. 30 minutes on five things you should never do if you wanna keep a talented ISA. Today in this uh, video, I'm gonna bring you my number one thing. So how many of you, whether you've said it yourself or maybe you've heard other people talking about it, say things like, oh, the inside sales role, you start as an ISA and then you move into a buyer agent or a listing agent role. Or maybe we have an ISA department and then when we hire new agents, we say, well, you're gonna start as an ISA for your first 90 days and then after that, you're gonna graduate or move into a buyer agent or listing agent role. Well, what that does, and I'll tell you how, how I heard that as an ISA, is it makes it sound like ISA is the entry level incubator and it's, you're really only there and your goal is to get out of the role. And really, we know that inside sales agents, they are the masters at lead generation, lead conversion. The reality is we want to find talent and keep them in that role, right? It is a fantastic career. As an ISA that's done this now since 2006, it's a great career. And it's an absolute moneymaker for the team. So what we don't want to do is talk about the role as if it's entry level and the goal would be to get out of the role. If you think about it, we're hiring results oriented people to be inside sales agents. So results oriented people usually also have growth goals. So we just want to make sure we're setting it up that the inside sales agent position is a position that can absolutely become a career. So here's what I recommend. If you have people start on your team and you want them to function as an ISA to get those core competencies down, what I recommend is whenever you hire new people, you say, we're gonna start everyone as an agent in training for the first 90 days and call it agent in training. After you pass your first 90 days and you're still on the team, then you're gonna become an inside sales agent, a buyer's agent or a listing agent. And that's a way that you can basically say the same thing yet talk about it in a way that does not demote or detract from what that ISA position really is. So first thing to never do, if you wanna keep talented people in your inside sales position, never talk about it as if it's an entry level role. All right guys, I hope you'll join me on June 23rd and I'll give you four more things to never do if you wanna keep a talented ISA around and we will see you guys soon. See you in the next video, bye.